Welcome to Eye on You. As a super connector, Hong Kong has always been responsible for spreading and promoting Chinese culture. Now, as the new situation emerged, the people of Hong Kong have struggled hard to absorb the best of foreign cultures and tell their own Hong Kong stories, integrating into the trend of globalization with an advanced system and unique culture and enhancing the soft power of the nation and the country. The epidemic has caused misunderstanding about Hong Kong, so that Chief Executive John Lee has stated his intention to tell the world the good stories of Hong Kong and the business sector in Hong Kong has actively cooperated. The 53rd President of the Chinese General Co Chamber of Commerce, CGCC, Mr. Jonathan Choi, has made good use of his personal and CGCC's network to tell Hong Kong's story globally from four perspectives. Firstly, he has frequently exchanged ideas with foreign consuls and Chamber of Commerce to explain the real situation in the recent months. And also, he will lead the first significant Hong Kong business delegations to Vietnam since the epidemic and to strengthen the cooperation between the two places. Thirdly, he will also organize a delegation to attend the World Chinese Entrepreneurs Convention in Thailand to promote Hong Kong to 3,000 Chinese business leaders worldwide. Last but not least, he will plan to lead the delegations to the European Union, uh, ASEAN, the Middle East, Japan and Korea um, to promote Hong Kong's business sector to the world and let the world know about the real Hong Kong. Mr. Choi said that the positioning of CGCC is still based in Hong Kong, backed by the motherland and facing the world. And the CGCC will do its best to tell the world the good stories of Hong Kong so that the foreign businessmen can understand the real situation and to do trade in Hong Kong with confidence. Today we are very honored to have Mr. Jonathan Choi. 53rd President of the Chinese General Chamber of Commerce to share his personal experience, work plan and views on the youth development, the economy development in Hong Kong and to the world. Hello Jonathan, welcome to our show today. Hello, Eunice. Good morning. Huh? Yeah, so um, I have read lots about you online and it's my great pleasure to have you here today. I'm very happy to uh, meet you uh, uh, in this occasion. It's <laughs> yes. my first time to be here. <laughs> yes. So um, just a few questions about, about yourself and uh, about uh, CGCC and mm -hmm. also the future plans in CGCC and also how do you see the future for the Hong Kong youth, um, especially with the collaboration of the Greater Bay Area and the Belt and Road in Initiative. So um, can you tell us more about yourself? How do you come I up to the um, chairman of CGCC? Uh, many people have the misconception that I'm from uh, quite a uh, well-off family. But that was not the case mm -hmm. um, because I have to start with my father. Uh, you know, uh, after New China establishment in 1949, mm -hmm. uh, he came from uh, mainland. My uh, hometown uh, is the Chungsan. When he went from Chungsan to Macau, he got nothing, <laughs> just mm -hmm. empty-handed to, 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 to go to Macau. And uh, he moved uh, from Macau to Hong Kong. Uh, in 1950 uh, something, 57 I remember, yeah, something, something like that. And uh, also without anything. Therefore, uh, we rented uh, one small room, about 100 uh, square feet. Mm -hmm. And then the whole family, uh, five of us, my parents and three of my brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. we live in one uh, small room and uh, that was our situation. And at that time, I was so young that I just, uh, I can't recall anything. I mm -hmm. just heard uh, all the uh, uh, stories from my mother. She told me that at that time, uh, we were quite poor. Uh, mm -hmm. We could eat only broken rice, mm -hmm. not the whole piece of rice, broken rice. And because we had wholesale business, my father is the wholesaler at that time. And uh, she just picked up the abundant uh, vegetable. Uh, after the uh, uh, working hours mm -hmm. in the fish market, in the uh, vegetable market. And that is the way that we were being brought up at the yes. time. Therefore, I, just, I could feel that <laughs> I'm not from a wealthy family. <laughs> <laughs> How do you become the, the chair of the CGCC? Because as you said, you're not coming from a wealthy family. And then afterwards, you have a chance to go abroad to study and, and to and, enrich yourself. How do you get this opportunity? I think the first thing is, Especially when you are not uh, from a wealthy family, uh, you need to work hard. You need to work hard. Because I remember that 
uh, when we were young, uh, of course, we need of everybody want to go to good school, but we, we, we don't have so much money, you know. Therefore, we got scholarship. Mm. Therefore, you have to work hard. If you work hard, then mm, somebody will pay for you. Then we can go to a good school. And uh, I'm very fortunate. I uh, spent my time in the St. Paul's Square oh. uh, for the Form 6, and then I went to Japan to study. And uh, as you know that, uh, my father has developing his own business mm -hmm. uh, as a wholesaler to be an exporter of seafood. And uh, the reason why he sent me to Japan is because our main buyer is from Japan. From mm -hmm. Japan, therefore he wanted me to learn more Japanese and uh, get more customer for him. Uh, but it's a pity that, or I'm lucky, I don't know. I went to Japan and stayed for one year studying, but suddenly he called me up. He said, oh, Jonathan, it's quite expensive in Japan. Why don't you come back and uh, help the family? Because it's a family business. We need to build everything by ourselves. Mm -hmm. Therefore, at that time, I have no choice. I came back to Hong Kong. And as you know that, for the fish wholesale uh, business, it's very hardworking. Mm -hmm. uh, we invest in a fishing boat. We do the uh, buying and selling in the wholesale market. We do the processing and then we export to Japan. Oh. They have the whole range of the uh, production line. Therefore, I have to get up sometimes 4.30 in the morning or 5 in the morning. Once we get up, then we go to the fish market, do the auctioning and then buying and selling. Yeah. And then we take a breakfast and the factory starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. Wow. 8 o'clock in the morning. And uh, because the business is developing very fast, therefore, uh, we work sometimes until 10 or 11. Mm -hmm. Because you should know that we are not the only one. Hong Kong is developed like this. Many uh, factories work overtime. Because our facility is small, if we work two shift or three shift, then it's more efficient. Right. Then we get more benefit. Therefore, we have to work very hard early in the morning until late at night. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, it's quite okay because we're hardworking, we are quite successful. Therefore, uh, at the age of 25, my father said, that, Oh, uh, we would like to re half retire, let the young man to do it. <laughs> Therefore, I was appointed to be the uh, president of the company. Yeah. People say that Sunwa Group. No, that is not Sunwa Group. It was the uh, only uh, seafood company only. So, how, how, how many years you have been working for? To get the to get the seat for the for the as the chair of the of the group. Uh, I was a twenty uh, eighteen years ago eighteen years old when I came back from Japan, oh. and I become the uh, president as uh, at the age of twenty five. They have about six to seven years. Mm. Because it, at that time, frankly speaking, it was a small company. It was not a group yet, because the group because after we grow, we have eight uh, different type of business, very diversified and international conglomerate. Therefore, we call it a group. Yes. But at that time, it was only a small uh, seafood company. Yeah. I was appointed to be the president to do all the donkey work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's still very, it's very extensive um, um, knowledge and also expertise on this area. Yes, because it's very interesting because for seafood, uh, the fresh seafood, live seafood, fresh seafood and frozen seafood, the prices are different. Mm -hmm. Therefore, when you do the purchasing, you need to be very sharp. You have to write uh, give the price and then you buy yep. and then the, uh, uh, you send it to your factory and do processing and send it out. Therefore, you need to be uh, very quick decision making and then you need to be very hard working. Because fiction people in the morning about 5 o'clock, they do the loading and loading and then do the auctioning. And then after breakfast, they send before 8 o'clock. About 7, actually all the raw material is in your factory already and you start your uh, processing at nine, 8 o'clock. And then from 8, if good business, all the way until 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. Therefore, it's very hard working. And uh, I remember I was young, not now, uh, at that time it's okay. <laughs> now it's still young. Uh, <laughs> for the uh, whole year, 365 days, we worked the whole year round. Mm -hmm. And the only the first three days of the Chinese New Year, we uh, uh, have a holiday. Mm -hmm. Therefore, at that time, we need to really hard working. And that is the foundation that we we'll build Sanma Group. We'll build so Sanma. I think this is the mandatory working attitude. Yes, it is. Hard I working. Just the hard working. Get, work, get, get up early. Exactly, <laughs> and to be healthy. If you don't have a good health, I don't think that you can, you can work on it. Right. Because it's, it's uh, the whole year round, uh, 4.35 in the morning, 
Of course, not every day at the 11 o'clock, but at least it must be 7 to 8 o'clock before you go home. Therefore, you have a really hard working, spend your whole time for your own business. Mm -hmm. that, I think that's the way to build a business, not only for myself, it's from so many successful businessmen in Hong Kong, they did the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I know that you have been um, in G uh, CGCC for over 10 years. So um, can you tell us more about the experience that you have been spending in, in CGCC and um, how do you see the business overall in Hong Kong? Okay, actually um, uh, I was very happy to join CGCC and actually it's uh, more than 10 years. I've been there for more than 20 years already. Mm. And uh, when I was young, uh, everybody wanted to be the king of seafood, to the number one top three in your industry but if you are in the uh, uh, the first one or the top three mm. you have to be compete with other competitors right. and the business is tough therefore you you don't have so many friends you know <laughs> <laughs> you don't have so many you have, you're number one you beat down everybody you don't have so many friends therefore uh, when I'm getting old uh, I joined the CGCC about the age of 40 and something like that mm. we just feel that once I joined CGCC it's different it is a business chamber. We have to work for all our members, work for Hong Kong. It's not working for yourself. Therefore, the mentality, the positioning is different. And uh, therefore, I just feel that CGCC changed my life. Because if I focus only on my business, I always want to be the number one. I don't have friends. <laughs> because we are competing every day or oh, making money, making money. And, uh, but once I joined the CGCC, I changed uh, 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 everything. I just feel that I have to work for the community. The mm -hmm. business community work for Hong Kong. Right. Therefore, I uh, change uh, uh, the way of uh, doing uh, business and the way of doing things. Uh, therefore, uh, I was uh, so uh, fortunate that elected to be the chair of uh, CGCC. And I feel that for CGCC, it is uh, one of the oldest chamber in Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. It was established in uh, exactly uh, 1900. Mm -hmm. 1900, it was established. This year is 122 years already. And uh, there are so many successful businessmen, like uh, Mr. Henry Ford and mm -hmm. Mr. Zhang Hinji, all mm -hmm. these, they're successful uh, past uh, president. We need to learn from them. And uh, firstly, of course, they're very patriotic. Uh, they have a lot of commitment to our country, to Hong Kong and the community. Therefore, we just feel that how we can learn and continue uh, all this culture of a CGCC. Yeah. Therefore, to build a uh, prosperous and sustainable CGCC is my job, it's yeah. my duty. <laughs> Therefore, what, how to do it? Therefore, I'm thinking, uh, of course, in the past, they are very successful, but we need to um, uh, work closely with the present world. Right. It was 120 years. In the past, it's very uh, 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 successful, but using the same way, it doesn't work anymore mm -hmm. in the present society. Therefore, the first thing I feel for CGCC, we need to be always young and energetic. Yes. If you want to be young and energetic, you need young people. Therefore, we need to support and promote young people, mm -hmm. young talent. I used to use talent, young talent in my CGCC. Yeah. Secondly, be professional, professional. Thirdly, we need to go international. Yeah. That's what I've been positioned CGCC. Therefore, for CGCC, we are based in Hong Kong back up by the motherland and at the same time we have to connect the whole world mm -hmm. that's cool. what i've been doing in the past uh, 10 years uh, as the, the president of cgcc yeah and i'm so happy that uh now we have so many young professionals uh young entrepreneurs mm -hmm. joining us and also we have so many lawyers accountants also <laughs> in, in 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 our chamber and uh, today I just feel that, as uh, Mr. Uh, our chief executive, Mr. Johnny, say that mm -hmm. we have to tell good Hong Kong story. Right. Therefore, we need to go international. Therefore, I position Hong Kong, uh, our CGCC, at the beginning. It is CGCC for Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. Later on, after the fourteenth five-year plan, we have to position Hong Kong as China's CGCC. We have right. the food integrated. We have our motherland. Thirdly, how to tell Hong Kong story? We are international. Mm -hmm. We want to be the world CGCC. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I've been in CGCC more than 20 years. And um, I remember that uh, the first time we go in, went international uh, is to join the World Chinese Entrepreneurial Convention. This convention gathered all the Chinese businessmen all over the world. 
in one place. The first time was in Singapore. Mm -hmm. It was initiated by the late Mr. Lee Kuan Yew, oh. the, the, the Premier of uh, Singapore. I was there when I was very young. And uh, after that uh, 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 convention, we gathered together. Hong Kong CGCC, Thailand CGCC, and Singapore CGCC. Mm -hmm. We gathered together to be the convener of this big convention. And every two years, we mm. make this uh, world convention in different parts of the world. Wow. And uh, every time, we got almost 3,000 delegates from all over the world coming in. Uh, it's a pity that uh, because of COVID, we cannot get it done in the past three years. Yeah. But before that, I remember, we get it done in London. Mm. The uh, uh, UK Chinese General Chamber of Commerce uh, helped us to organize this. Mm -hmm. 3,000 delegates from all over the world went to London. I was there. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, because of that, we want to continue all these things. And uh, we are going to... Uh, uh, organize another one in the Thailand oh. in the, this uh, next June 2023 mm. June uh, will be in Bangkok mm. and uh, Thailand CGCC is one of the convener they would like to take up the opportunity to get the uh, uh, convention in Bangkok we yep. fully support them mm -hmm. therefore I'll bring a big delegation again yeah. uh, to join therefore going international is very important mm -hmm. we just feel the Hong Kong of course we don't work only with the Chinese, obviously Chinese. We work with everybody. But Hong Kong is a place that we can gather all the overseas Chinese uh, businessmen together so that we can work well with the mainland, mm -hmm. with the international community. I think that is the CGCC's job in the future, how to be a world CGCC. Yeah, I think it's very important to gather all businessmen's mind and their ideas together as mm. to um, polish or to enhance uh, the Hong Kong's policy mm. uh, for them to get into the Greater Bay Area or for them to go to uh, other Asian countries or, or, or as, you, as what you have said, to go international. Mm -hmm. So I, I know that you have been bringing a lot of delegations to, uh, to Vietnam and Cambodia. Can you share some information about and, that? Uh, actually, because of COVID, it's a pity mm -hmm. that uh, we could not bring a uh, delegation in the past three years to go international. Uh, but once, uh, when the, uh, our chief executive uh, slowly opened the door in the past few months, already uh, bring two delegations oh. uh, to Vietnam and to Cambodia. Uh, we would like uh, to have Cambodia and Vietnam to understand not only Hong Kong, but also GBA. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we organized two seminars, uh, small scale uh, seminars in Phnom Penh and Ho Chi Minh already. Mm -hmm. And it is uh, Hong Kong GBA in collaboration with Vietnam. Ah. Uh, therefore, I think it is uh, quite successful because we all our partner is the ETO and local chambers. Uh, this time, uh, after the uh, door is open wider and wider, and uh, many Hong Kong uh, businessmen would like to go firstly to RCEP. Mm -hmm. In RCEP, the first one we pick up is Vietnam. Mm. Because among all the ASEAN countries in the past years, I think GDP growth, I think number one is Vietnam. Mm -hmm. There's so many opportunities. Therefore, uh, I'm the chamber of a few, uh, uh, the chairman of a few chambers. Right. Um, therefore, I organized three chambers together to go to Vietnam this time. Uh, CGCC, mm -hmm. uh, uh, GBA uh, Entrepreneur Union mm -hmm. and also Hong Kong Vietnam Chamber. Mm. Three chambers together. I'm the chair and then I did a big delegation. About 70 uh, people mm. going to Hanoi and Ho Chi Minh. And at the same time, we have new partners mm. because I myself have been in Vietnam for more than uh, 50 years. And uh, we, uh, in the past years, we just brought uh, Hong Kong U. Mm -hmm. uh, to be a business partner on education and training yep. and we signed an MOU about two months ago in Ho Chi Minh and uh, we bring Hong Kong USD, uh, Hong Kong University of Science and Technology. Uh, we uh, have a donation with them and we set a program to bring the uh, Vietnamese scholars and scientists and students to come to Hong Kong and GBA mm -hmm. because Hong Kong USD have a Nan Sha campus coming up that we want to collaborate with them in Smart City and uh, many more. And thirdly, Hong Kong is a financial center. Uh, we are bringing Vietnamese company, uh, hopefully, to get listed in Hong Kong. Because Hong Kong is the international marketplace, not only from China. We need to uh, open the door for all uh, countries. And Vietnam, I think, is coming up. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are helping Hong Kong USD, Hong Kong U, and Hong Kong Stock Exchange to achieve all this goal.
how will you tell the young people or the young professionals on the um, on the career? How do they how do they expand their horizon on the Greater Bay Area and also for um, Belt and Road Initiative? As you know, then uh, when I was young, I was quite hardworking. <laughs> <laughs> I think the, this is the key the, word. The key word you need to be hardworking, and then you need to have an e good EQ. Because, for example, when my dad called me. If my EQ is no good, that I don't want to come back. Then it's the problem. I missed the chance. You get a good EQ. And uh, also, when I'm getting old now, one thing, lifetime learning is important. Mm -hmm. The world is changing every day. Now we are talking about uh, uh, meta. Uh, we are talking about NFT. We are talking so many new things. Blockchain. Five years ago, I don't know all these things. Mm -hmm. If you do not continue to learn, we cannot catch up. That is uh, my suggestion. Uh, you need to be hardworking, good EQ, uh, and also uh, life learning. Mm -hmm. uh, that is uh, my suggestion. And uh, after your personal uh, development, you have to understand uh, what is the trend of the whole world. Hong Kong, I just feel I'm very happy. Hong Kong have one country, two system. We are part of China. Mm -hmm. If we are only a small city, I don't think that I got so many friends. They won't yeah. come to see me. <laughs> they come to see me because <laughs> Hong is part of China. Mm -hmm. It is Hong Kong, China, Hong Kong. That's why they come to me. And Hong Kong is part of the GBA, nine plus two city. Right. When people are talking about GBA, they say, oh, I want to go to GBA. I said, I'm sorry, you're in Hong Kong, you're in GBA already. We are important core city of GBA. Because the amount of core city, Hong Kong, Macau, Shenzhen, and Guangzhou, we are part of it. And we are the unique, the only city have the one country to system, mm -hmm. not Shenzhen and not Guangzhou. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we are so happy that we are part of it. Therefore, how to integrate, catch, grab the opportunity and integrate with the GB development and also develop the whole country. That is very important. Therefore, we have to uh, uh, look forward. Uh, what's the future? You like it or not, China is the second, second biggest economy in the world. <coughs> Very soon, maybe hopefully, 10 or 20 years later, we'll be the number one. Mm -hmm. Therefore, that is the uh, opportunity. And at the same time, <coughs> because China have the so-called dual circulation, mm -hmm. internal circulation and external circulation. Under one country, we are part of the internal circulation, the market, 1.4 billion people, mm -hmm. is with Hong Kong. And external circulation, we are the two system. Yeah. Uh, with a financial uh, uh, center, same as New York, London, and Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. We are in the other parts of the world. Therefore, among the dual circulation, I would say the Hong Kong right in the middle. We get the best from the whole two parts of the world. Therefore, uh, Hong Kong young people, firstly, you need to work closely uh, with GPA and our motherland. Mm -hmm. Get the opportunity. And at the same time, don't forget, you, could, you have to go international. If Hong Kong do not go international, we are only same as one city like Shanghai, Shenzhen, Guangzhou. It's only one of those, nothing particular. But we are same as New York and London. That's yeah. different. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I would like to suggest my young people that they work well with our motherland and the international world. Yes, thank you, Jonathan, to let us know about uh, Hong Kong's advantage and how are we going to be the, 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 the windows for, for, for our motherland and to the world. And I think this is very important and very important message for all the young people and all the yes. young professionals. So thank you for your time today. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Yes.